Merry Christmas, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Last week, we started the best story, the Christmas story, together. And so we're going to continue that wonderful story today. Before we get started, there's a few things you're going to need for class today. Go get a piece of construction paper, some color crayons or markers or something like that, a glue stick, three coffee filters, and your Bibles. Push pause if you need to grab your supplies. All right, did you get it? Great. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take those coffee filters. My coffee filters are brown, but if you have white, that works even better, okay? So you're going to take your coffee filter and fold it in half. Okay, you're going to do that to each of them. All three coffee filters, you're just going to take it and fold it in half just like this. Do it with your next one. And your third one. Fold them in half. All right, did you get them? Great. Then you're going to take that glue stick. And you're just going to put a little bit of glue on the inside of your coffee filter so that way they stay in half. You want to make sure they stay folded. So just put a little bit of glue on that inside of the coffee filter so that way when you fold them over, they stay together. So you're going to do that with all three coffee filters. All right, you get it? Here we go. So now what you're going to do is pick one of your coffee filters and put glue all over the back of it, okay? Okay, you got your glue on it. Now you're going to stick it to your construction paper. You want it kind of near the bottom a little bit. Just like that. Then you're going to do the same thing to your next coffee filter. Put glue all over the back of it. And then you're going to take it and you're going to put it off to the side. Kind of like that. Okay. And then you're going to do the same thing to your last one. Get some glue, put it over that next coffee filter. And you're going to take it and you're going to stick it on the other side. Okay? Just like that. All right, friends, now you're going to grab um, either a marker or a crayon, and you're going to draw a head. What we're doing is we are making an angel for class today. So right in here, I want you to draw a head, make a round circle or an oval, and then make two eyes, a nose, a mouth. If you want to do a hair, you can do hair. All right, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and draw that circle for your angel's head. Draw your eyes, your ears, the mouth. Okay, get, that. get your face on your angel there. See, got my eyes, I got my angel's hair, doing her, my angel's mouth right now. All right, boys and girls, there we go. I got my angel face on there. Um, and then if you want, you can kind of see, I drew a little oval over top of the angel's head for the angel's halo, okay? So if you have some 
um, a yellow crayon or a yellow marker you can draw it. If you have some yellow glitter or something like that you want to put on, you can do that. And then you can cut color and decorate the rest of the angel's outfit. You can use crayons, you can use glitter, you can use paint, stickers, whatever you have at home you may use to finish decorating your angel. Now, why did we make an angel today? Well, do you guys know what the job of an angel is? The job of an angel is to be a messenger for the Lord. An angel would bring, well, that's one of their jobs anyways. They have a couple of jobs. But one of their jobs is to deliver messages. And in today's part of the Christmas story, we're going to talk about an angel named Gabriel who delivered a very special message. So we're going to open up our Bibles to Luke chapter 1. That's where we're starting, Luke chapter 1. If you have a picture Bible, you can open up to the announcement of Jesus, or it might be called Gabriel and Mary, depending on which story Bible you have. So um, open up to that story. Do you remember what our memory verse is that we're working on? It's from John 3, 16. It says, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. Remember we talked about last week how God loves every person on um in the world, no matter where they live, he loves them so much. And because he loves them so much, he sent a very special gift, his son, Jesus. Remember I said that we are all sinners. We do bad things, don't we? Well, God sent Jesus to save us from those bad things. So that way we can spend forever in heaven with Jesus. Last week we talked about a man named Zachariah and a woman named Elizabeth and how an angel came to them and said, you're going to have a baby. But if you remember, Zachariah and Elizabeth were old and Zachariah didn't believe the angel. And so he couldn't talk for the whole time that his wife was pregnant. And when that baby came, he, signed, he wrote, his name is John. And God opened back up his mouth and he was able to talk again. And John's job, that baby, when he grew up, his job was to tell people that Jesus is coming. Well, you know what? In our story today, it's getting just a little bit closer to Jesus coming. And Gabriel is going to come to give that exact same message. Jesus is coming. So let's take a look together, all right? Um, six months uh, into Elizabeth's pregnancy. So remember, Elizabeth was going to have a baby, right? Baby John. But before baby John came, six months later, but after the angel told Zachariah, the angel came, and angel Gabriel came to a woman whose name was Mary. Okay? So our angel's name is Gabriel. Can you say Gabriel? Very good. And he's going to come visit a woman named Mary. Can you say Mary? Wonderful. All right. So Mary lived in the town um, of Nazareth. And Mary was engaged to get married to a man named Joseph. Can you say Joseph? Great. All right. So one day, an angel just appeared to Mary. And he said, Rejoice, highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Who would you think if an angel just showed up in your house? Would you be surprised? I think Mary might have been surprised. Can you show me your best surprise face? Awesome. So, when she saw him, meaning Mary, she trembled at his sayings and considered his greeting. So Mary, she started to tremble a little bit. She got scared. Can you show me your best scared face? Good job, friends. All right. But the angel said to Mary, do not be afraid. You have found favor with God. You are going to have a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. For he will be great 
and he will be the son of the highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will be no end. So Gabriel is saying to Mary, you're going to have a baby, a son. His name is going to be Jesus, and he is going to be a king. How do you think Mary would have felt then? Mm. Well, the Bible tells us. Mary said, how can this be? She didn't know how this would happen. So can you show me your best confused face? The angel said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, Mary, and you will give birth to a son. Even your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby in her old age because nothing is impossible with God. And the angel left her. Oh my goodness, friends. Gabriel just told Mary she was going to have a baby named Jesus. He just told her that she was going to have the greatest, the king of kings for her baby. And Mary believed the word of the Lord. And the angel said, nothing is impossible for God. And the angel left. But the angel wasn't quite done delivering messages yet. The angel Gabriel had one more message to give. Um, in the book of Matthew, chapter 1, uh, it says that the angel also came to Joseph. Now, when Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant, he wasn't so sure what to think. And so he didn't know if he still wanted to get married to Mary. But the angel Gabriel came and visited Joseph in a dream. Now, Joseph was sound asleep. Can you show me your best sleeping face? Very good. And the angel came and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. For that baby, that's the Son of God. And then the angel left. And when Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel told him to do. He got married to Mary. Now, friends, we just talked about an angel. Do you remember what the angel's name was? That's right, Gabriel. And Gabriel delivered a very special message. He told Mary and Joseph that Jesus is coming. He told them that they would be Jesus' earthly parents and that Jesus was going to be God's son, that great gift. Now, friends, I love Christmas time. I have the Christmas tree. I have Christmas music playing. I have the fireplace going. I have, there are lights outside my house. There are gifts under the tree. It's a wonderful time of year. But in all the fun that we have at Christmas, we can't forget Jesus is our greatest gift. God sent Jesus because he loves us so much. And that is why we celebrate Christmas. So what I want you to do is we're going to pray together and then we're going to sing a Christmas song to remind us that Jesus is the reason we celebrate Christmas. He is the reason for the season. All right, friends, let's pray together. Fold your hands, bow your heads, close those eyes, quiet your voices, and let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for Christmas. Thank you that we can have so much fun celebrating. Help us remember that it's all about you. And I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, let's celebrate as we worship the Lord together. See you next time. Merry Christmas.